Hey there, I'm Mickey. This is my six-year-old Indy. And I'm here today to show you just how easy it is to install a cranky horse swivel. And also make you aware of all the benefits that comes with it. So are you ready? Well, let's get started. For this video, we're going to install a swivel close to the pasture. Such a convenience. If anything ever happens in your pasture or you need to go back and get, get something out of there or you got a problem with another horse, you can come put your horse right here on the swivel, you're right here by the gate, and it's safe, secure, and it's comfortable for the horse and you'll never have any problems. For the installation of a swivel, all you need is nine feet in diameter. So the best thing to do is you can lay this tape out, where you want to put it at, at nine foot, find the center, X marks the spot. It's that simple. After you have found your location of where you want to put it at, all you have to dig, whether it's with a hand auger or auger that you have to uh, hook to your tractor or the good old fashioned post hole diggers. Whichever can get the job done that you have, all you have to do is start digging. After you dig your hole, four foot is what you want to achieve. Which, that's perfect. If you can't get quite four foot, you need to dig as far as you can. But it is required and recommended to have eight foot from the ground level up to the top of your post. After you've installed your post, if it's higher than eight foot, you can always cut it off after you install it. I just got back from the hardware store. I picked up a 6x6x12 six six post treated. Uh, it's 5.5 inch by 5.5 inch diameter. You better call them 6x6 six six inch posts. But that's, five and that's all you need. Because the base of the swivel is 4 inch by 4.5 inch. So this is really perfect. Here's a uh, round post uh, that works really good, but in some geographical areas, it's hard to find round posts and you can only find square posts. That's the beauty of this. Uh, this round post right here is six and a half inches and it'll work fine so anything that's six and a half inches or bigger is perfect but these right here you can get them at lowe's and home depot and they're only 31 dollars so that's that's the good thing about it but some people will go ahead and install their swivels and then put their post in and concrete it or some people will go ahead and install their post concrete it and then put the swivel in but today we're going to go ahead and install our swivel to the post our swivels come with four patented lag bolts that have serrated edges, edges that don't need to be pre-drilled. They can just be run right in and you're done. So with my lovely assistant, my wife Michelle, we're going to go ahead and install the swivel. Ready? I'm going to have her hold the swivel. place just like that. Got it? And an impact driver is awesome for using this with a 5 8 socket. All you have to do is put it in there. It's got a pre-placed pre uh, flange on it. You just make sure that when you run your bolt in there that it's just completely flat and it's done good. So you just put it in the hole and let it go. <laughs> So now that we've got that one in there, just don't tighten it all the way. Just tighten it where it holds by itself. And then you can go ahead and take the rest of your bolts and put them in place. Remember, this swivel comes with a protective uh, band around it. Uh, leave it in place until after uh, installation, after you put your chain, that way you won't scratch it or do any damage. After you've installed all four of your lag bolts, make sure that their flanges are flush with the swivel's base and that they're tight. Uh, we've got this one in. It's ready to go. So all we have to do is install the post into our hole. Now that we've got our post installed in the hole and it's braced, ready for concrete, it's time to mix the concrete. Uh, there's several different ways of uh, mixing the concrete, whatever you have, uh, whether it be electric mixer, gas mixer, uh, wheelbarrow, and a hoe, uh, whatever you have, but uh, 
we do have a new way that we uh we do we we partnered with a friend of mine, Troy Yanoff from New Jersey, and he has this awesome mixing tool called the Mortrex. After this video, you're gonna see just how easy it is to mix concrete. Have it done. We'll have 240 pounds of concrete mixed in less than five minutes, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All you have to do is have two buckets, one that's empty, one that's full of water. The Mortrex comes with two blades. You stick your Mortrex into a bucket and fill the water up to the top of the blade. After you do that, get your concrete, pour two thirds of the concrete into the bucket. After you do that, pour the rest of the bag in. You're done. Just that quick. Take the concrete, pour it into your hole. minutes you've already got your concrete mixed. All it takes is just two buckets. It's just that easy. It's always a good idea to take excess water wipe your concrete off your coast. Just it's good to fill your hole up about four inches or five inches from the top. That way you give plenty of room for your dirt. Uh, so you won't have concrete showing. If you ever want to move this post or get rid of it and install your swivel somewhere else, you can always dig that little bit of uh, dirt out, cut it off, cut it back up with dirt and grass. So just wait for concrete to dry. All right, we just removed the braces. This post has been set up for 48 hours, so it's good and strong. And uh, it's good to at least let them cure for 24 to 48 hours. But all we got to do now is just Take the protective barriers off that we put on there and uh, add the chain. There you have it. We have 10 different swivels that we uh, make. This one right here is the Storm Rider. Uh, we figured this will fit really good here since we already have the Patriot and Falcor up. That this would be a perfect fit. But you can leave your paint post as it is, or you can stain it, or you can paint it. But uh, in this case, since our fence is black and we have green and black as our colors here, we're going to paint it black with uh, Rust-Oleum exterior oil base, which you can get a quart for 10 11 bucks. And uh, once we do that, we're done. But as we say, uh, less than an hour by the time you dig your hole, uh, start to finish, besides the curing time of the concrete, you've already got one of the best tie-outs that there is on the market, the Cranky Hole Swivel. And there you have it, the Cranky Horse Swivel. We painted it black yesterday. It took us less than 10 minutes to paint it. We let it dry until today. We just installed our decal and we're done. In less than an hour, the Cranky Horse Swivel. With our black fence, it looks amazing here. Earlier in our video, we were talking about mixing the concrete with the Mortrex and it took less than five minutes, but I made a mistake. I said that we mixed 240 pounds of concrete, but actually we mixed 420 pounds. It was seven bags of 60 pound quick creek that we mixed, but we still did it in less than five minutes. But definitely check out the more tracks at moretracks.com. Some people don't have wood posts to be able to put the uh, crank hole swivel on and would rather have it on a metal post, and that's easily done. All you have to do is get a 12 foot section, 
a 4x4 tubing, 3 16 inch thick, and a 5 inch by 5 inch quarter inch plate. Take your tubing, put your plate on it, weld it, weld your swivel to it, and you're done. If you can't find square tubing and you only have round tubing, the same thing. Just put it on there, weld it, put it on there, and you're done. There you have it. As easy as one, two, three. All you have to do is dig your hole, install your post, concrete, you're done. Whether it's for the convenience of being by your pasture, being by your tack room, being by your round pen, or anywhere in between, the crank your swivel is your answer. From cold starting, quality time out, bathing, or just a convenient place to tie. Please check us out at crankyhorse.com. Well, we're American-designed and American-made, and remember, American-made matters.